Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Now, before I get started here, I wanted to try something. Um, the world is full of noise. It is a very noisy world. Um, you may have been seeing on television, on news, how our Capitol building and how our Capitol building was attacked. And I don't want to take this in the wrong way or in the wrong context because I don't want anyone to be offended. But there were a bunch of people who were angry. And there were a lot of people who didn't trust the vote, didn't trust our democracy, didn't trust our government. And I want to turn off the noise today. Normally, I play with the noise in the background. But today you're just going to hear me, the ambient sound of what I'm doing, my keyboard, and my character. And I want that to be kind of a reflection of turning off and thinking. Because there has been a lot of misinformation. And it's not on just one side. I'm not going to say... It's on the Republicans. I'm not going to say it's on the Democrats. And I'm not going to say it's in the good guy's hands. I'm not going to say it's in the bad guy's hands. I'm not going to say it's the officers. It's not the Antifa. It's not anyone. I'm going to say there is misinformation in the world. And it takes a lot to think critically about how the world works. A lot of you, a lot of my fans, they don't they don't have the correct information um a lot of my fans are young and i know that by by proxy by comments by people telling me all the time a lot of my fans a lot of you are young if you are young if you're under the age of 13 Technically, you are not supposed to have a YouTube account. But I also know that me being a parent, I let my kids watch YouTube. And that's absolutely fine. In fact, I created them accounts before the age of 13. So they could go and watch YouTube on their own. And I monitored it. And I taught them very well. If you're watching something with a bunch of cursing and cussing and everything else, and I find out, I'm going to take away your phone. Or I'll take away your tablet. And that was my choice as a parent. And it should be your parents' choice too. So if you're watching YouTube right now and your parents don't know about it, you need to tell them. That's the honest thing to do. But then again, I'm also not your parent. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop you from watching my channel because I know that I'm not gonna curse, I'm not gonna cuss, and I'm not going to shout or scream or jump or make a <sighs> fool of myself to try and get attention. And I'm definitely not going to jump on the bandwagon of whatever's hype at that particular point in time. But I do want to talk to you. You specifically. Because I know what it takes to... Oh, this is the wrong car. That's not the car that I wanted. I know what it takes to get through day-to-day -day life. And I know that it is hard. There's a lot of information in the world. And I heard something today um, that... Oh, L for lights. That made me stop and completely think. I, I was just in awe of what was said. And it's... There's one thing that evil hates the most. Forgiveness. That was deep. That was a very profound statement. And the only thing I could think of was the stuff that's going on inside the Capitol, the stuff that's going on with the elections and all of the news media outlets, all the YouTube channels... Everybody is just talking about it. So I wanted to take a moment and clear the noise 
and have us just reflect. You know, think critically about the world around us. And it's not going to be, this video is not going to be a big to do with, uh, with lumber or anything. Should I go get TNT? Do we need TNT this time? No, we can, we can glitch through the box. It'll be fine. Taking time, like when you're reading a book, there's a there's a lot of information in that book, whether it's a fantasy or whether it's um, make believe, documentary, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of information, but what's most interesting is the blank spaces. What I mean is the pause that you get in between what you're reading and what you're thinking about. That's a good spot to think critically about things, to think about the information that you just took in. And a lot of people, they don't have spaces anymore. They don't have that moment, that little bit of time to think about what they've taken in. And it's the same with our textbooks and with our schools. I'm not attacking schools uh, by any means, but looking at the amount of information and the amount of things that are trying to be taught to my kids. And yes, they are getting older. Yes, they're supposed to have a lot more information, but it leaves very little room for, for wonder and for imagination for pretend like playing inside a Roblox game like I'm a lumber tycoon too <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm a lumberjack who is currently trying to chop down icicle trees to sell off so I can purchase more land so take a moment today or take a moment tomorrow if, if this is your sleep time go to sleep <laughs> But take a moment to reflect and just imagine and wonder. Because every day we are getting older. We're growing up. We're getting more knowledge. We're getting smarter. And the technology around us is just screaming. Tonight, if your normal routine is to watch a video during dinner, put it down. Put down the phone, put down the tablet, turn off the TV, and take a moment, oh no, and take a moment to talk with each other. Ask how your parents are doing. Parents, ask your kids how they're doing in school. Talk to each other and enjoy the moment because it'll pass really fast. And you're going to think back and say, wow, what happened? You got old is what happened. Or at least that's what I tell myself. It does sound different without the sound on, doesn't it? Maybe that's a good thing. But it's... uh. Give me just a moment. I'm concentrating here. Trying to make that turn. Nicely done. Uh, if you're still practicing that, uh, trust me, I have fallen down so many times trying to get up that. And I didn't think it was actually possible, <laughs> but after a few tries and after a lot of failure. I finally got it. And I'm still not perfect at it. And I, I don't think I ever will be. But if there's something that you're trying in your life, if there's something that you're wanting to become, wanting to do, wanting to follow, a career path maybe, maybe you love music and you want to learn how to play an instrument, but maybe your family doesn't have enough money to purchase an instrument. Well, 
there are classes, there are tutorials, there's places around town where you could possibly take a lesson and see if you're actually into it. There's a, there's a lot of music teachers out there in the world. But it doesn't have to be just music. It doesn't have to be just computer programming or game making or, or anything like that. If you want to become a YouTuber, go become a YouTuber. Now, parents, I know that a lot of parents say that YouTube is not a real job. Well, I will tell you, I make anywhere from 700, 900, 1,000, 1,300 a month just from making videos. And I'm not uh, ashamed to tell you how much I make. Uh, I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it and make it sound, yes, I make so much money that I can, I can do this forever and this is all I do. That's not true. I still work full time. But the job that I have is extremely amazing because my boss, he is supportive 100%. Now, he did make fun of me a little bit whenever I first started and he found out what I was making uh, videos about. But that's not the point. He, uh, he supports it very much. In fact, his kids watched me for a very long time. But you know what happens? Kids grow up. A lot of, a lot of people have been commenting on my new videos, the, uh, the Nintendo Switch videos, saying, why don't you get so many views? And I can tell you why. It's because it's not lumber. It's not Roblox. But you know what? I am seeing a very loyal fan base who are going over there and they're watching. And yeah, it's, it's not the same gameplay. It's not this personal one-on-one -on -one time where you get to talk with me and reflect, <laughs> have the psychological feel, feel of uh, talking with Code Primate for the day. But it is, it is very relaxing to say the least, for myself, if not for you guys too. And I plan on doing more. I plan on doing a lot more open videos about uh, video games, game making. Um, oh, in fact, I should probably show you the, the game progress that I have so far with Unity. I've been going through each one of the projects and learning something new, Unity. Somebody had asked me to do a, a Unity video or Unity tutorial, and I hadn't touched it in years. But, you know, probably, probably about a full year, I hadn't touched it. And I told him, yeah, I'll, I'll do a tutorial. But then I thought, gosh, it's it's been so long, I don't even remember it. Oh, uh, we're gonna let you grow. You're not, you're not quite big enough to take. You, you however, you're good. Here, we're going to take you. <clears throat> Do you ever just sit and think about the day? It's something that I, I don't do very often, but... For example, after... After my, uh... Shower, sometimes. I will just... Step out, dry off, and just stand there for a second and think about how good the day was or how bad the day was, whatever kind of day I had. And it's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a good day. Now, what happens to us is we get so concentrated on one thing that we might be kind of bad at or something that we haven't been doing very long. And we think to ourselves, oh, I'm, I'm really bad at this or oh, I'm, I'm not very good at making YouTube videos or oh, my drawings aren't that, that good. But that's not the case. If you're drawing, if you're making something, you're still practicing and improving. All the way up until you become Picasso and even Picasso, after 
Is it Picasso? I don't know. It, it might be Picasso. <laughs> Even Picasso, after making his 100th painting, I don't know how many paintings he made, but after the 100th painting, he would go back and say, I can do better. I can make something more. It's never, it's never finished. Just like learning in school. It's, yeah, if you graduate and you go off to college, it's more learning. After college, it's on-job training. It's more to learn. There's always more. And we, we punish ourselves so hard whenever we, we don't do something perfect the first time. And even, even if it is like the first couple times that you're attempting something, give yourself a break because you're not looking at the hundred things that you've done right, you know? And that's also what's wrong with the world. You could do a hundred things right. And when you do one thing wrong, that's what they want to point out. That's what they're going to blame you for. That's what they're going to make fun of you for. That one thing. So am I surprised when I see a YouTuber or a celebrity who has some kind of scandal or something happens to them? No, not at all. It's the w nature of humans. It's the way they are. And I, I'm very sad by the way that people treat each other sometimes. You know? It's, it's a sad world. But there's so much joy in it. Now, <laughs> just real quick. I'm not sad. I'm I'm actually in a really good place. I, I'm having a really good day. I had a great talk with my dad. I got to, to hang out with my kids. Got to <coughs> program an amazing automation today that just, it astounded me what I can do with code. And it astounded me with how much I've learned through programming. It also astounds me that I just picked up every sing stinking piece of wood just now. That's pretty amazing to me. Oh, 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 no. Come on, the one piece. See, and this, this is what I was talking about. I'm punishing myself. Ah, oh, dang it, that one piece of wood fell. But yet, look at this entire stack. <laughs> oh, what a puzzle. Look at that. Would you, would you look at that? Would, would you look at that? Look at that. Now I was only going to take the, um, the ends, but, oh, it looks like we're going to have to move some more rocks. Maybe. Can I squeeze through there? How bad is this going to mess up? Oh no. Alright. So. <clears throat> I thought maybe if I could have people reflect on their day or think about what's happening in their lives, it might get a m little bit more response than normal. And I hope it does. I hope by making my video more personal for you, for uh, kids, for parents, it might bring some light to the life of everyday people, to everyday you. And I hope it does. Um, and let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to keep the music on in the background? Because I feel... I feel a little out of place not having <laughs> the lumber music, but it's also a way to concentrate on what I'm trying to say. And I hope I'm saying it in, in a 
a nice enough way that it's understandable by young you and by old you because I know that my audience is mixed. I have young audience and I have an old audience. I've got parents, I've got grandparents, I've got children. I've got brothers and sisters who tell me all the time, your videos are so inspiring. You have helped me through so much. And you know what? That's what it's about. That's what I want out of my channel. A lot of people are like, Code, you don't get very many views, or code, you don't do this, code, you don't do that. People are always worried about numbers, you know? And somebody asked me the other day, do you know, like, how many kids you've helped? And I've always said, even if there's just one, if there's just one person who watches, then I think I've done that person, I've done you, a great service. By providing entertainment under the guise of a video game and giving you a personal one-on-one -on -one time with me. Uh, a look into my psyche. A look into how you can relate. How you can handle your emotions. How you can, you can speak out and say, hey... I don't like the way this is going. Or hey, I'm happy with myself the way that I am. I think that's so much greater than watching the Capitol building or seeing <sighs> protest. That is, that is something that I've missed in the world. It's something that I had in the world growing up. Some of my greatest heroes. Mr. Rogers. Bob Ross. The cooking lady. I can't even remember her name, but she was great. Oh my gosh. That's the big one. That's, that's the one that's going to make the money right there. Come on, get on there. Oh, goodness. That's also going to be the one that messes it up the most. Did I just get rid of a tree by poking... Or did I get rid of a rock by poking a tree at it? There's no way that works. You know what? We're just... We're going to keep moving. Let's move on. Move on. Stay balanced. Good. Okay. Looks good from this end. Oh no! Is it gonna pull the whole thing off? It's gonna pull the whole stack, isn't it? Oh goodness. Oh, we may be good. We may be okay. <clears throat> well, let's keep going. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Right? Oh, it broke. <laughs> We were close. We were so close. And we just keep stacking. Just keep stacking. Is that another tree? No, that's all one tree. One massive tree. That is money. Money in the bank. And I've also decided that if this doesn't go over well, if, uh, if the sound off isn't welcome, then I will go back to turning the music on, but I really did. I wanted to get rid of the noise for today. Get rid of all the people talking their opinions and reflect on self. You know, we watch a lot of TikTok at my house. We watch a lot of YouTube. And I think it's very common for families and households to have a lot of TikTok and a lot of YouTube. Or Twitch, Twitter, uh, streaming, you know, and it's, it's out there in the world because it's very common. What I wish was more common was 
taking the enjoyment of a person that's sitting right in front of you. Taking the enjoyment of your family, taking a moment to just enjoy a conversation. Because with more of us getting into technology, getting into YouTube, TikTok, all these things, I think we're starting to miss a big picture. So I'm gonna sit here and, and let the let the video upload. It's been twenty five minutes. I still I still have a good five minutes to talk to you guys. So <clears throat> what would you like to talk about? What would you like to see in my next video? You can put it in the comments down below if you want. But I really did want to just kind of take a moment and relax. Doesn't that feel good? Like taking it, taking a deep breath and being like, just breathe. Because if you had a bad day today, it'll get better. If you had a good day, I'm so glad. And if it was a mediocre day, I just, I hope that you uh, had your spirits lifted a little bit in today's video. For me, I'm having an awesome day. And I'm probably going to have an awesome weekend. And I love you. If nobody else has said it today, I love you. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. And we'll see you soon. I can't break tradition on this one, so... If you have your volume turned up, you might check your headphones. <gasps> Outro! Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.